Hey. Hey. Is Danny here? We've been trying to track you guys down. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Some guy broke into the museum and threatened Marina. <sighs> she said that it sounded like the guy had stashed loot or, or drugs in there before we moved into the place. Well, did you call the cops? No, we didn't have to. Shane tagged the guy with a baseball bat. And when he came to, I convinced him to leave. All right, well, um, let me talk to you for a minute. Excuse us. What are you saying? You recognized him? It was Ernie. Salerno's guy? Mm-hmm. At first, I thought, you know what? Maybe he's on his own. But just before he left, he told me to deliver a message to you. Me? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the message? Don Salerno sends his regards. But did... Did Mara hear that? Not just me. No, I get it, Danny. I mean... I thought that all the families were out of Springfield when you took Carmen down. Yeah, I, I thought so, too. Then what the hell's going on? And, wh and why would Salerno send you any kind of message? You're out of the business. I don't know, Tony. It must be some misunderstanding. It must be. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll straighten it out. Oh, man. Gotta make a call. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. We're just talking business. How's the weather in New York? Well, Queens ain't New York, Danny, but it's nice. How are things in Springfield? A little cloudy. That's so? At least in my head. I thought you understood me when I visited the other day. I did. Then what are your people still doing in Springfield? Unless Ernie Peterson's a free agent now. No, he's my man. Look, Danny, you really didn't expect me to fold up shop and walk away without some, uh, transition time. I know this game. You mess with my property, mess with my friends, push me to see how far I'll go to protect them. I don't think you want to know the answer. Danny, come on, don't be mad. As for this transition time, you take as much as you need, as long as your business is shut down in Springfield by tomorrow. And as for my family and friends, they're off limits. This is not negotiable. Oh, deep from there. I've got lots more coming. Um, well, I want to show you up before you leave, too. There's lots of new improvements. That's great. What do we got? So, did everything get resolved? Yep. Well, what exactly was wrong? Right, it's too complicated to get into right now, especially before breakfast. Oh, that's why you Come went into the foyer? There's the pre-meal details? That's right. I'll fill you in later. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want to make sure nobody else is in that tunnel. Can you give me a hand, Tony? Mm -hmm. Let's Be do careful. It. Yeah. That's his middle name. There you go. I'm going to call in my security guys and make sure they enter from the museum and move from here. Okay. Check the tunnels. I want you to scan them with infrared. Every time you do your rounds, okay? Got it? No problem. That's what I want. No problems. Let's talk about these entrances. Will that door work? What are you two doing here? We are more curious than hungry. Well, everything's fine. Really, every, you can go back home. Well, we could stay and find out the whole story. Do we get a choice? Carl, do me a favor. Make sure all the uh, basement windows are secure. Well done. Thanks. Okay, what do you want to know? Well, uh, who this drug dealer really is? Michelle, it was just some creep. <laughs> okay, so we talk about a street creep or like a made man creep? Is it really important, Michelle? I don't know. Tony showed up at our house all fired up this morning about somebody harassing Marina. It seemed important to you. He, 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 he broke into our home. He threatened a teenage kid. I don't know anybody that wouldn't be hot about that. Right, right. Well, we all know what you guys did before you got into the neighborhood reclamation business. And I just wondered if maybe this guy really was wandering in off the street or if he's part of your past that won't go away. Okay, he didn't wander in. It's not an accident that he was here. What? Yeah, it turns out that this guy works for one of the bosses back east, and his showing up here was more about sending a message to me and Tony than 
an issue about drugs or stashed loot? I had to ask. Michelle, I know it's not the answer you wanted, but you, of all people, can appreciate how difficult it is to leave that life. You're right. I'm a veteran, all right? The New York bosses don't want to believe that we want out, right? Right, much less the fact that we want nothing to do with them now. But Danny talked to them. So that's who you're on the phone with this yes, morning? I made it clear that this neighborhood is off limits to the families. No drugs, no hookers, no protection rackets. So do you no think nothing. that they listened? They heard me. Whether they listened or not is uh, remains to be seen. So in other words, this might not be the last incident. <sighs> Michelle, it's going to take some time for Fifth Street to turn around. But it's going to. It's going to happen. You know why? Because we're here now. Right, we're here. The four of us, your friends, this entire neighborhood, everybody in this neighborhood, and we've invested too much in bringing this neighborhood back to life to let them scare us off. Just don't let my parents find out about this. Oh. <laughs> Believe me, I won't. You okay? Well, I'm not surprised, so I guess that's progress. Michelle, I know. Look, I know that this is not your idea of a good time. Well, you know, the first night that you took me to our house and you were gushing about our newest new life together, this ongoing mob pressure really wasn't part of the picture that you drew for me. And I think you left it out on purpose. You're right. I did. Look, I, f I felt that if you knew that there might still be some of the old garbage going on, then you would back away from me again. Danny, I already knew. What do you, what do you mean? How? How many how times you... have I seen you try to break away from your old associates? I know how hard they hold on, and I know how hard some habits are to break. Right. Right. Not that long ago, I would have thought, if you want it out, you just leave, and that's that. But I'm not that naive girl anymore. I know that they're going to try to push you and test your resolve, mm -hmm. which is why I haven't complained about the uh, guards you have watching me. You know about the guards? <laughs> yes, I've seen them uh, shadowing me when I was taking Robbie to the park. And, you know, when you have gardeners that are paying much more attention to who's in the house and what's in the ground... You know that? You're amazing. It wasn't that tough to figure out. No, I mean that you haven't flipped out. Well, I mean, do I worry about Robbie and all this? Yeah, of course I do. I mean, but I would worry about him even if we were on an uninhabited island. Because that's just how it goes when you're a mom. Just like these traces of the old life are sort of how it goes with being your wife. I'm sorry. I love you. And that's what I know most of all. And if I'm going to be with you, I'm going to have to accept that there are going to be some scary, nasty things that we're going to have to go through for you to finally be free. And I'm willing to accept that on one condition. Name it. That you don't keep anything from me. Danny, we've been through hell. And I don't want to found, find out about any of these problems after the fact. I want to know everything that's going on up front. Because if I'm going to trust you, which I am, you need to trust me.